Homesteading, and today we're going to start uh, planting our raised bed gardens. But I want to make a quick video to show how quickly you can actually make um, a very quick and a very simple raised bed garden so you can actually uh, start growing vegetables this season. Uh, every year I add a few more uh, raised beds, and I kind of wanted to make uh, this year very simple because I'm going to be quite busy working on the barn, so I didn't want to have a long, drawn out process. So uh, over the year, I've been saving up um, these pallet sides. Uh, those are the greatest things. If you see them on the side of the road or you see a company that brings in stuff um, and has those, man, pick them up because they are like an instant raised bed. So today we're going to make four of them and it should only take about 20 minutes. So let's go. So this is what I'm talking about. These things are the best. If you ever see them, pick them up. Um, they're basically they're basically sides uh, you put on your pallet to ship stuff but when you set them down on the ground they are an instant raised bed uh, they are just phenomenal my goal is to put four of them here um, it'll add four more raised beds to my raised bed garden and uh, you see my garlic here uh, the cold weather set them back a little bit it took a while for the ground to warm up. I hope the middle ones and the back ones pick up soon. But what I'm going to do is we're going to take some of the dirt that's in the older raised beds. We're going to start the new raised beds. So that's what I try to do every year. If I add any more raised beds, I take a little bit of the soil out of my older raised beds. Then I get a few buckets of a really rich uh, mushroom compost to spread over all of them. Uh, you really need to... Um, amend the soil of raised beds because I find the first year they grow good the second year they're just lacking uh, some oomph so what I'm going to do is we're going to get some good solid mushroom compost put them in all the raised beds then I'm probably going to have a good quality uh, organic fertilizer and we're going to try to uh, put it in the raised bed throughout the year just to give them a little bit of a boost we'll start digging out the soil and then we'll start making the new raised beds I think I got them where I want them. Um, I'm gonna try to put some wood chips around the outside. Uh, just keep the weeds down. It's done a pretty good job over here, uh, but it's still coming through. I think I'll just keep uh, putting up some uh, uh, wood chips until hopefully the weeds stop or something. I don't wanna spray anything. It seems counterproductive to try to have an organic garden and spray the Unless I try something organic, but even that, I'm wondering if uh, salt will leach up into the beds and uh, hurt my raised beds. So we're just going to leave it be and keep throwing some wood chips. Hey, so I've saved some of these feed bags, and we're going to lay the feed bags in here to try to keep the weeds from growing up through the raised bed. you get the uh, bottom of the raised beds covered with some sort of material like cardboard or feed bags or whatever you have uh, now we can throw the dirt in and most of the weeds won't grow up through it uh, they still find some gaps here but most of the time you don't have a lot of weeds growing up
local company that dropped off some uh, mushroom compost. It's kind of handy. They drop it off by the uh, bucket load. He comes in with his uh, loader. Um, I emptied out that one. I'm not emptying them out. I'm just bringing them down so I can actually put some fresh mushroom compost in all of them. I'm going to try to take some out of there, a little bit out of there, and a little bit out of there. And then we're just going to make sure that everything's uh, slightly heaped because it'll still go down a little bit anyways. Okay, so now I am just going to lightly pack the bed. If you don't do this, um, it's going to settle a lot and you won't have any dirt in your raised bed. So we got the raised beds filled up about three quarters and I packed it down just a little bit because if you don't pack it down, uh, it'll just settle like crazy and you won't have any dirt in your raised beds which isn't good anyways. So what I'm gonna do is fill up the rest of the way with mushroom compost. And uh, when it settles down, it'll probably end up uh, being about an inch from the top. Uh, but what we'll do is, I wouldn't say mound it, but it'll be pretty high. It'll fill the whole space of the raised bed. So there you go, there's no way to make raised bed gardens faster than using these pallet sides. Uh, you know, you can buy these at uh, Lee Valley and places like that, but uh, it's almost no cheaper than just buying the wood. Uh, but if you can find them uh, at shipping companies or at businesses that get stuff uh, sent in them, uh, just pick them up. When I see them, I try to hold on to them. I'm a little bit of a hoarder that way, but my goodness, uh, it comes in handy in the long run. So. That's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.